Why should you take a road trip? We arrived in Tirana. It was a really spectacular drive from Beirut to here. Just more of those gorgeous mountains and ravines and little quaint towns along the way. Super nice. We are now going to try and enjoy the last bit of our day in Tirana before we head back home tomorrow. Before we can adventure though, I gotta go for some nose rape. Ah, I hate that. Time to go feed ourselves. So we took a seat here at Shai Fishati, which directly translates into Taster Village. It's very unassuming, like we would have not stopped here if not recommended by our uh, hotelier. Another place we would recommend. It was nice cost-effective and uh, really really friendly stuff so considering that we're on our way to an Albanian museum now is maybe a good time to give you a little bit of a rundown on Albania's history it has got to be one of the most interesting histories I've ever seen I'll do playing a flute there or some instrument not a flute I know that <laughs> It's, I mean, everything from socialists to communists to failed democracies to dictators. Albania had a crazy dictator who uh, ruled with an iron fist for 40 years. He fell, I think, in 91. I mean, this guy was a bit of a nutcase. For example, he didn't let anybody own cars. Cars were private property and uh, you couldn't own private property. So this is one of the many bunkers that Enver had built during his crazy reign. It's pretty cool that they've converted this now into a museum and we want to go check it out and understand a little bit more about the history here. So this is the minister's bedroom, as is usually the case with communism. The minister gets the nice bedroom and he gets his own office and even a desk for his receptionist. So this is where he could chill out. Ministers of Internal Affairs. And his receptionist could sit here. That's how it always works with communism.
Enver Horja built all these bunkers pretty much all over Albania. Um, specifically here in Tirana he had many built because he was a paranoid lunatic and he believed that he was gonna his country was gonna get invaded and like the western countries he was paranoid about didn't even consider Albania a thing. Another museum of countless pointless deaths because of idiot failed ideologies. Let us hope we don't forget the tragedies of the 20th century. Armenia had similar horrific stories to tell as does many of the rest of the world. This is a monument to celebrate the 100 year independence of Albania which was put up in 2012. After going through that bunker though, independence was a rough time for a lot of Albanians. Fortunately, good prevailed and hopefully this, con this country continues its upward trajectory. We can definitely see that the country has made major strides. You know, things are functioning. It's crazy to think that 30 years ago Individuals couldn't even own cars, you know, and here they are kicking ass Way to go Albania keep kicking ass Taking a walk around Tirana Very very nice city It's very clean man. I'm very impressed with all of Albania has been tremendously clean So public transport in Tirana is pretty good I wouldn't recommend the buses though. Not unless you're really in a rush. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. That old clock tower over there was built in the 1700s. So just another piece of Albania that's ancient. Doesn't look like a church, it looks like the church. So many cool directions. I picked that one. Caught ourselves a break from this endless rain in this cute little alley. I don't know what to call it. No rain on my head for a little while. Although coming from Dubai, I miss the rain. So continue to rain on my head to run a good morning well I guess just morning it's not that good because we're leaving today so somber moments for us although it is actually a good morning it's just beautiful blue skies the rain is completely cleared I guess Tirana wants to give us a good farewell Hopefully I get to come back here. I really like this city. But in general, the broad Albania, I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed my time in this country. But for now, breakfast, pack, home. We bid another hotel farewell for the last time. Sigh, so I don't wanna go. Bye Albania. Oops, almost forgot my camera woman. Come along, dear. Oh man, I'm having so much FOMO right now. Everything looks so alive. There was our room. Just a second. I have a fine to pay. They caught us at the, the old castle back there. They put a fine on our window and uh, we had to run to the mall quickly before our flight to pay for it. Fortunately, we got a 5% discount, baby. We're running a little bit late now because we had to go to this mall. So I hope we make it to our flight in time. It's quite ironic that we were rushing to get to the airport just for our flight to be delayed by like an hour and a half. 